Hi everyone! In this episode, we're going to be continuing our look at symbolic highlighting F# -sharp in VS Code. The first couple of tips today are going to continue looking at peak support. The first one is peak definition. Move the cursor over any symbol and hit Alt and F12. The peak pane will appear, showing the expression which created that value. As with all peak windows, you can hit Enter to navigate, or Escape to close the pane. Our next tip is peeking at the definition of the type. This is quite useful if you simply want to glance at more information about the type that the symbol relates to. I've configured code to perform this when hitting Ctrl, Alt and F12. If you want to quickly get a list of all symbols in the current file, use the Go to Symbol in File feature by pressing Ctrl, Shift and O. You can navigate through the list with the cursor keys, or type a substring to find any matching symbol in the file. Notice that each symbol is ordered by definition and highlighted in the code editor. Ordering is very useful from an f -sharp perspective, because you can only reference symbols in f -sharp that have already been declared. Another way to organise the Go To Symbol view is by grouping it. Hit Ctrl, Shift and O once again, but this time also press the colon key. This now organises the list by different categories such as functions and records. An excellent way to navigate through a file is to use breadcrumb navigation, which you can do by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Dot. Notice how you can navigate through the file hierarchically rather than in a linear list, although items are still ordered based on declaration. You can do a workspace-wide version of Go to Symbol by pressing Ctrl T. This will not search for nested symbols, is case sensitive, and is not a substring search, but it's still extremely useful if you wish to quickly navigate, for example, to a record or a module. That's the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe so that you get notified as soon as we push out the next one in this series. Thanks for watching.